decided to redo a previous video where I was showing charging a battery and lighting LEDs. This is a situation where increasing the resistance can increase the current. You can see I have two LEDs lit right now and they each have two milliamps going through them. And this is the main part of the circuit that I'm using just for this demonstration. I have 13 volts or 13 and a half volts roughly AC and I'm sending the current through two different branches and this upper branch is the one I'll be modifying with a 2.2k resistor in each branch to limit the current through the LED now if the current's more in one branch it can upset the balance of the AC and that in turn will give a poor power factor on the transformer. That imbalance transfers to the primary of the mains and could alter meter readings. So it's not necessarily a good thing to be having an unbalanced system. But if I put a battery in this upper branch, the increased resistance should reduce the amount of current going through that branch. And you can see right now we have the two, two milliamps on each LED. And it does reduce the amount of current. We're down to 1.88 in the upper branch. This is a circuit that I'm using, basically an RC circuit. The resistor, the battery, and the capacitor. And when I engage the capacitor, it's going to increase the current through that branch. Lid motor recently used this in his one pulse motor video. Now if I engage the capacitor, you'll see we now have 5 milliamps going through that branch is about 2.5 times what it originally was. They were both equal. And there's charging the battery. Thanks for watching.